the number one mistake before going no contact. Because you want to get back. If you are going to break up, you must understand breaking up is truly breaking up and then preparing to get back with a much better relationship and the commitment you are likely seeking. So you must know this number one mistake and not to make it prior to going no contact or you're going to hurt yourself when you do for the chances of getting back. So who am I to talk about this? I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach for women, licensed social worker and author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. I help you find your Mr. Right, get an ex back, or grow a relationship with a man you truly desire to create the relationship of your dreams so you level up to the complete commitment you totally deserve. So what is this number one mistake prior to breaking up and going no contact? It's very simple. I want you to think of C's. I work with a lot of C's. There are three C's of women, three C's of men in my book. This C is very simple that you must not do prior to breaking things off. And that is any kind of coercion or cajoling a man to see what you see, feel what you feel, want what you want, and to do something different than what he's doing so that you have the relationship you want. Why would this be the biggest mistake? Well, in my practice, I see this all the time as a big reason why it takes longer for a man to come back because nine times out of 10, a man will be coming back regardless of what you do. But if you want to set things up to really work and get him back better and have the relationship you want, you need to avoid this mistake, which is cajoling him, coercing him, convincing him that this is a great relationship, that you guys are meant to be, that commitment is for you, all manner of different things that I see women doing that hurt themselves in terms of getting what they truly want. And it makes it take longer for the man to come back. Well, why would that be? We initially, after a breakup, tend to think about the most recent history with the person. So whether we're a man or a woman, this is the case. So when you make this mistake of talking to him about it, then you know if you've read my book, and please do, it's one of the foundational principles there, what I call my gender gaps. One of the main gender gaps is women relate via verbalization, men relate via action. And if you are talking to him about the relationship and touting the benefits and why it's so great and what he should do and how he should want what you want and etc etc it lowers his interest systematically he may stay through it he may not even really be listening to it but if you are doing this his interest is lowering and by the time you break things off and go no contact he feels one main emotion and that is relief Yes, you don't want him feeling that. That's why this is such a huge mistake. If you are talking to him about the relationship, trying to convince him, cajole him, coerce him into something that he's not doing to have this full meal deal, you will hurt yourself. You need to simply make the decision yourself because you know this is going to have the best chance of setting this relationship on really the right path. Likely it's deteriorating in some way. He's gone off the rails a little bit, gone a wall, not actively involved in the relationship. So you know it's going south. So you just then need to make the decision yourself and come to him with one statement and no conversation. One of the main things that I see happen is that we have somehow gotten in our lexicon that a breakup needs to be a conversation. This is largely female. Males do not feel this way and nor do they want a conversation when they are being broken up with. They don't. This is 
pretty much across the board. They want the woman to make a decision and come to them with that decision. You can even, dependent upon the situation, and again, everything is unique, but it can be done in one phone call, a text even, and people say, oh my God, you can't break up with text. Well, he knows it's coming. He may even want it to be coming and he's doing what he's doing because he knows that you'll pull the trigger. You have to be strategic. That's what this is all about. And I don't mean that this is playing games. No, it's standing in your value. Men don't like the confrontation, another C word. They don't want the uncomfortability that comes with being broken up with, the feelings he might show you, all of it. The conversation is likely going to get you nowhere or you wouldn't be breaking up. If it got you somewhere, you wouldn't be breaking up. If you want long lasting, long term results, this is the strategic way you do it. If you don't know about no contact, well, we need to take a few steps back, but that's in other videos. It's the foundation of my Lure Him Back program. You can find this on my website, coachpaulagrooms.com. Go there, click on coaching, and you can then fill out a form. We can be talking and we can discover if, A, it's the right time for you, if you have set it up correctly. Because many women who start with me in the program, we have to take a few steps back. We don't want to break things off when it's really bad. No, that doesn't leave him with the good feelings we need to leave him with should we decide to do it. Many times we just get it back on track and there doesn't have to be a breakup. This is so important for you to understand. When we change ourselves, the man changes as well and we see the best come out in him. Many times it's the man doesn't feel even safe in the relationship because of the continued talking. When we are talking about the relationship and not just having it, to the man, something is off. It's wrong. It's not going to work. But he doesn't do much actively to change that. He will just simply, like I said, go off the radar, even ghost you for a time. All manner of different things he might do because he doesn't want the confrontation. He doesn't want to be coerced, cajoled, convinced. There is a lot to this and I work with each unique situation to help you to come to an understanding of what he is feeling. We don't want him to feel relief. We want him to receive one statement that is clear but it's kind. And then we move into no contact. Do not make the mistake of just ghosting him and not saying anything. That's also not cool and not going to work. We want one calm, confident, standing in our value statement or two that simply lays it out in a kind manner that makes it clear as to why, but also not making him the bad guy. This is a big mistake I also see. But the number one mistake here is prior to doing any of this, coercion, trying to convince, or cajoling. There is so much more to this and each situation is as unique as the woman and man in the situation. So that's what I work with and help each woman with in the Lure Him Back program. So if you need help with this, you can talk to me in several different ways. All the ways will be there on my website. I want to help you with this because when you set it up correctly, you can have the results you want and you don't want it to take longer by his most recent memories being negative. You want it to just be a simple, I've made a decision. I take action on that decision and through your statement, you simply say, and I trust you will understand why it would not serve any purpose for us to be in contact. Yes, very important. He must feel challenged from the loss that he has sustained, missing you. That will be a challenge for him to maybe get things right with himself, get things right for himself, to get back so much more. Continue watching these videos here. Connect with me by filling out the form in the Lure Him Back program and we'll see if it's right for you. I am very honest with each woman that I interact with and telling her what I truly feel about the potential 
Because when you truly understand and feel supported that you are taking the right steps to get the results you want and not just flying blind and not just going on your emotions and what is out there in social media and online. And when you really have the grounded mindful support by doing the mindfulness stuff, the manifestation of what you want. And then we add in the mechanics of men that I'm talking about here and that I talk about all the time on my videos, you help yourself immensely. So I trust that this was helpful today for you to understand if you are in a place whereby you are thinking, this is not getting me anywhere. We've been doing this too long. It's not working. Whatever it is, do not go through coercion, conjoling, convincing. It will not set you up for success and success in the shortest time possible to have him back better and wanting what you want. I want that for both of you. The love is likely there. In most all of the cases I work with, the love is very clear. It's just not working because of the mindset and the behaviors of the two people. Well, when we get right with that as a woman, we can help the man to see clearly and he will convince himself that this is what he wants. And that's what I want for you because as the woman, you deserve that man to want you above all. And you can have that. And I want that for you. So replay this if you are thinking about breaking up and make sure you are not making this number one mistake. Do not convince, cajole, in any way, coerce him towards what it is that you want. Make your decision, take action on it, and I will help you with that. Put your comments below. I would love to hear them. I try and answer all of them that make sense according to the video or any real questions that come my way. I will do that, and I will see you in the next video. I trust you got a lot of good information in this video, and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question to get my book to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.